Hi, this is Geertjan from the Oracle Jet team. When you're creating Oracle Jet applications, you can create them either for the desktop browser or for the mobile browser, or both. If I'm on the Getting Started page, which I get to by clicking on this button here, you will see that there are Yeoman generators for setting up your desktop browser application that makes use of Oracle Jet, but you can also create hybrid applications, Oracle Jet Hybrid. So these are applications that make use of Cordova. When you click on this link, you find yourself on this page, which describes the Oracle Jet Hybrid mobile application development process in quite some detail, including the different templates that are available and the command line that you can use for setting up those applications, as well as how to build the applications via Grunt and how to serve them up to different endpoints. So you can serve them up into the browser on the desktop or onto a particular device to the emulator or to the device itself. What I've done is I've created a plugin for NetBeans so that you don't have to know all of these different commands. If you use these templates instead, you will end up with the same result. So I'm inside of NetBeans and I have found the NetBeans module, so I've downloaded it from the plugin page and I've gone to the downloaded tab here and I've um, um, and I've uploaded it from disk and now I'm going to install it. You can see the description here without needing to know the Cordova command line settings you can generate the skeleton applications you would get via your Oracle Jet Hybrid for Android and iOS for each of the templates blank navbar and navdoor. So I click install, click next and the installation takes place. We restart the IDE. And now the very first thing we need to do is we need to go to Tools and Options. And we go to HTML.js. And here is a new tab, Yeoman. It's very important that you fill in the path to your Yeoman command before you use those different generators, because you'll see that right now some error occurs when you do that. So you can browse to it, or you can press on search. And when you press on search, what you should find is that automatically the Yeoman command um, is found on your disk. If it's not found, browse to where it is located. So I've done that. Now I go to the new project dialog, and you will see in the HTML5 JavaScript category, that there are now a number of new templates. And there are six of them. So there's a blank template for Android, for iOS. There's the navbar template for Android, for iOS. There's a navdrawer template for Android and iOS. What could be done eventually is to combine all six of these into one single template where you have different choices instead of having six separate ones. I'm not sure yet what the best approach would be. But um, so you can see that that this template is the equivalent of doing this, all of this. So to avoid all that typing and making typos and, and so on, um, you know, we have this template to help you. And note again, before continuing, make sure that this is set correctly and which we have just done. So I'm going to take the most interesting of the templates, which I think is the uh, nav drawer template. Nav bar is slightly less features and blank is blank. So we start here, I click next, and I'm going to put it somewhere on disk, anywhere really, uh, I'll call it uh, uh, customer uh, mobile analyzer, something like that. Click finish. And now the yeoman process begins, which takes quite a while. It takes quite a while on the command line, and it will also take quite a while um, in NetBeans. Um, um, but what you will see as the processing takes place um, in the output window of NetBeans, you will see what's going on. And you can see immediately that the template that we've specified has been selected. And then the whole process, uh, the whole Cordova process starts, and it, it takes a while. So um, we won't see all of it within this um, screencast from beginning to end. We're going to skip a bit. Um, but you'll see everything as it happens. OK, so now the process is complete. It literally took about five minutes, or maybe slightly less than that, but it takes a while for that process to complete. And that's all yeoman. And 
So now we see we have a project created from Yeoman. It's very important that at the end of the process you see this, done without errors. And also Oracle Jet, your app is ready. When you see this, that means everything has been done correctly and you're all set. So in the source folder, you see, unsurprisingly, if you know about Oracle Jet, the JS View Models folder and the Views folder. And also in the Lips folder, you'll see Knockouts and Oracle Jet and all the rest of the libraries. There's also a hybrid folder since we have a hybrid application. And you will see that since we chose the Android template, we have some stuff in here ready for uh, deployment to Android. So this is basically a Cordova folder that we see here. And for the rest, it's pretty much as you would normally have it. Um, and now we're going to switch into the browser. And we're back in the uh, page that we referred to earlier, the Getting Started with Oracle Jet Hybrid Mobile Application Development page. And you go down to the end of this, and you'll see here that this is how you build a hybrid mobile application with Grunt. So this is the command build, and then platform, and then you, uh, you specify your platform. Back in NetBeans, we just right click on this and we choose build, right? And you get this dialog, do you want to configure project actions to call Grunt task? You say yes. And you can see what build project means. So right now it just means this. But what we want it to mean is build and then also this argument platform is Android. The next is run project. Let's look at this. I'm back in the browser. And what would run project mean for us? So right now I don't have a device set up. So very usefully we can launch the application into the default local browser using the Alta Android theme. So Great. I can just copy this, copy it from here, and in NetBeans, paste it in for run, which means when we press F6, which is the keyboard shortcut map to the run project command, F6 will cause this to happen. And when we um, press the keyboard shortcut that maps to the build project command, then this will be executed. So that's really nice and neat integration. One more step. Look in the config XML. And there's one weird thing here. You will see that there's um, that here is the name, and if we don't change this single quote to a double quote, we will see that an error occurs later on. So I'll do it right now. Believe me, that there will be a problem in the um, build process if this is a apostrophe instead of a double quote. Having done all of that, um, we simply choose build which when you look in the run here, um, so you can see run project is F6. And um, so we could also map a build project to a particular keyboard shortcut. So we do build and we'll open up this output window and make it really large so you can see the process. So you can see the grunt command, build and platform is Android. And again, this will take a while. So probably we won't watch this right until the very end. But um, here is what you can, here is where you can see the process as it takes place. At the end of the process, what you should see is build successful and the total time it's taken and you will see your APK file. In this case, since we're doing Android. So we take a look at that location uh, go to hybrid platforms and then Android and then build and then outputs APK and here is our APK file excellent so okay and um, we've built it let's now run it so remember and um, we have the grunt serve set up for this which means the browser will open And here we have our application. So it's got a navigation drawer, which you can see here. So you can see here, dashboard, incidents, customers, um, and probably looks a bit more realistic when we make it look more like a mobile app. So we have now a starting point for a real um, mobile application with uh, with one of these drawers on the side already built in for us and with placeholders 
for incidents, customer suppliers, and profile, which when we look in the structure here, you can see in view models we have here customers, incidents, profile, and suppliers, and in the views, we have the, the, the view of each of these. So immediately we can begin working with them. Um, and we can fill in these placeholders and we have now the basis of a very nice professional looking enterprise application in JavaScript built on top of require and jQuery and knockout and all of the libraries that make up JET. Plus we have access to all of the charts and the components that JET provides. In other words, with the plugin installed into NetBeans, we can use the Oracle JET hybrid Yeoman generators from within NetBeans, and we can also build the generated project and serve it up wherever we like to each of the endpoints that Oracle Jet supports. With that, have fun with Oracle Jet, with NetBeans, and with hybrid mobile development.